BitTensor Tau is ranked number 34 in crypto, but here's the crazy part. It's better positioned than 90% of the projects above it. While meme coins and overhyped tokens pump and dump, Tau is quietly building the infrastructure for decentralized AI, and it's already competing with companies worth hundreds of billions of dollars. The current corporate structure has a massive flaw. Two employees, one exceptional, one mediocre, often receive nearly identical compensation. There's no real incentive to excel because whether you deliver breakthrough results or barely meet expectations, your paycheck stays the same. Time gets wasted in endless approval chains. Want to implement a new idea? You need a five-layer manager approval. When rewards increase, it's often due to favoritism instead of who performs best. Human emotions are also involved in the workspace, which is far less reliable and honest than predictable code that executes the same way every time. Now, imagine Elon Musk operating his largest AI data center in the US. This means hiring thousands of employees with all these structural problems multiplied. Every level of bureaucracy, every bottleneck, every misaligned incentive, all at enterprise scale. Speaking of data centers, a handful of companies, OpenAI, Google, Anthropic, control how AI gets trained, how your chatbot responds to you, what rules and regulations get enforced, the pricing, and even your data. When you use ChatGPT, you're locked into OpenAI's vision of what AI should be. No alternatives, no competition, no choice. That's the problem. Regular people are stuck with whatever these few companies decide to give them for something so important in the coming years. BitTensor is a fundamentally new way for humans to work and create value together. It's a decentralized network where anyone on earth can compete to produce anything of value. Think of the best open source large language models. The world's most efficient advertising agency. State of the art trading data competing with Wall Street quants. A very cost effective data scraper. The best coding agent assistance. A cheaper cloud storage solution than Amazon Web Service. Merging $300 trillion of real estate on-chain and providing instant house prices. Helping e-com stores with AI shopping recommendations. This is just scratching the surface. Anything worth putting time, energy, and focus into can be powered on the BitTensor network via its incentive structure. No bosses, no HR departments, no approval processes, no CVs, no asking permission to work, no interviews and anxiously waiting to see if you're accepted. If you're good, you plug into the network and start producing value. That's it. If you really think about it, BitTensor is doing for work what Bitcoin did for money. Bitcoin said banks can freeze your money, dilute your savings through inflation and impose whatever rules they want. We need an alternative. BitTensor says Centralized AI companies can freeze your access, change how your chatbot responds to you, and impose whatever rules they want on AI you use daily. We need an alternative. The resemblances between Bitcoin and BitTensor are striking. Both have a 21 million max supply. They share the same cypherpunk philosophy, which is to decentralize what large monopolies hold over us. They are a fair launch with no venture capital control, no companies or shareholders enforcing rules. It's open source, so anybody can come and contribute, fork, or build. And generally, just to make a change, it's very messy. There are public debates that are held online, and they're often heated. So it's a very messy process to change something, which is a good sign that the network is actually decentralized. But here's the key difference. Bitcoin is decentralized capital. BitTensor is decentralized capitalism. Bitcoin helps you store wealth safe from inflation. BitTensor is the vehicle that incentivizes you to produce that wealth in the first place. Think about it. Saving money is valuable, but building things, creating services, producing actual value, that's a much bigger market. Bitcoin makes you hold, but BitTensor makes you work. BitTensor operates 120 different competitions simultaneously. Each competition called a subnet finds the best providers of something specific. Here's how it works. A subnet broadcasts what it needs accomplished. Then people from around the world, complete strangers who've never met, often on different continents, simply plug into the BitTensor network. These strangers compete against each other without ever speaking. The best work wins. Rewards get distributed instantly. No meetings, no approvals, no management. Competitors called miners submit their work in exchange for hard-earned alpha tokens, which they can easily convert to Tau, the main ecosystem token. 
And because of this constant competition, subnets end up with incredible products. Why? Because the miners work gets crowdfunded through protocol rewards. No salaries, no paychecks, no bosses, no two week payments delays, no frozen payments, just instant rewards for good work. Just imagine 120 valuable startups who operate 24 seven and are already competing with dozens of billion dollar tech giants that are all accessible and are worth peanuts right now. In a few years, it is projected that we will have over a thousand of these valuable startups. This really puts me into perspective of the BitTensor potential. To name a few, BitCast Subnet 93, a decentralized marketing agency competing with Google Ads and Facebook in the $850 billion advertising market. Ridges Subnet 62, valued at only $45 million, offering world-class coding assistance, is competing with Anthropic's Cloud Code valued at $1 billion. Hippias offers 98% cheaper cloud storage than Amazon Web Services, a storage provider reportedly valued between $1 to $3 trillion. Celium Subnet 51, which is only worth $50 million, is offering the same A100 GPU for $0.86 cents per hour versus Lambda valued at nearly $3 billion as a company, offering the same machine for $1.30, a stagnant difference. Here's where BitTensor gets interesting for the regular Joe. Traditionally, investing in cutting-edge AI startups, you need to know the right VC. You need to be an accredited investor, meaning over $1 million in net worth or $200,000 plus yearly income. And even then, you need an invitation to the deal. This just shows that regular people do not have a shot at the hottest private companies that are yet to go public, like the Ubers or the Netflix, before they even got in the hands of regular US investors. With BitTensor, anybody can get a shot at owning a portion of these private yet very early companies through subnet ownership. You can invest directly into individual subnets as if you are a private equity investor. If you prefer not to pick individual subnets and play it safe, you can just hold Tau, the macro token, to get indirect exposure to everything happening inside the ecosystem. It's like holding the S&P 500 ETF shares to get exposure to the top 500 largest US companies. It's the same thing. The higher the alpha price, the more successful that subnet becomes. The lower it goes, the less successful. Simple as that. Let's compare Tau to higher ranked cryptocurrency so you can get a grasp at how valuable this asset really is. XRP ranked number three with a $140 billion market cap for cross-border payments for banks, but in reality, limited actual bank adoption. Cardano number 12, $28 billion market cap, the Ethereum killer that never really happened with a minimal real world usage. Dogecoin number 9 with a 13 billion market cap, basically a meme coin with no utility. Shiba Inu at number 13 with a $8 billion market cap, another meme coin with no utility. Litecoin ranked at number 21 with an $8 billion market cap was supposedly a faster Bitcoin that nobody really got to use. Bitcoin Cash at number 16 with a $9 billion market cap, a failed Bitcoin fork that simply didn't replace the real asset. And then you have Tau at a whopping number 34 at only $4 billion market cap, but it's competing directly with OpenAI, rumored to soon go public at around $1 trillion as a valuation. Amazon Web Services that has almost $200 billion of annual revenue. Google Ads who grosses over $200 billion. Anthropic rumored to be worth $350 billion and NVIDIA, a company being worth around $4.6 trillion. Ask yourself, do you really think Tao will stay in its spot for much longer compared to what's above it? Picture this, big tech is worth over $20 trillion while BitTensor is sitting at roughly $3 billion. This means its native token Tao is over 6,000 times smaller than the companies it's competing with. Over time, if decentralized AI steadily gains traction and BitTensor captures just 1% market share of big tech, that's a whopping 200 billion valuation resulting in a 66x multiplier. Bitcoin is gaining rapid market share as the preferred investment over almost all assets and currencies sitting at roughly 1.9 trillion for storing value. In my opinion, BitTensor will gain rapid market share as the preferred way of producing valuable work via its incentive structure sitting at a tiny $3 billion. Bitcoin captured saving, BitTensor is capturing production. Production is worth much more than saving. To put you in perspective, BNB coin is worth $120 billion. That's over 6% of Bitcoin's entire market cap. 
It's simply an exchange token that has its utility incentivized by traders who want a discount when trading on perpetual markets. On Bitensor, that's actually Subnet 35 Kartha, also an exchange token earning from trading fees on a decentralized perp platform. And that's only one subnet out of 128. This just shows you that Bitensor has a lot of utility and can bring back a lot of value in its ecosystem. The dynamic nature of Bitensor is one of the few reasons I think this project gives us one of the best opportunities in crypto right now. Here are some cool future subnet ideas that can be possible on Bitensor. We can decode lost languages, scan space for earthbound asteroids, find cures for rare diseases Big Pharma ignores, understand what animals are actually saying, predict forest fires before they start, save bee colonies and global agriculture, monitor water quality in real time across the planet. A lot of problems humanity needs to solve, there's a potential subnet for it and there are a thousand plus coming. This isn't temporary hype, it's not a meme coin, it's not a trend that fades. This is a fundamental shift in how humans work and interact to create value. Bitcoin proved we don't need banks controlling our money. Bitensor is proving we don't need mega corporations controlling our work and AI. If you want to go deeper into Bitensor, how subnets work and how you can earn in this ecosystem, I've got a full 35 minute Bitensor masterclass breakdown. Links in bio. Peace.